was planning to be an astrophysicist. Because what is more fascinating than the idea that using nothing more than our brain and the instruments we can build on this relatively insignificant planet, we can study the ends of the universe. But all of that ended when I took a class on climate change because I realized that I serendipitously had the exact skills that we needed to address this urgent problem. My name is Katherine Hayhoe and I am a climate scientist and professor at Texas Tech University. I study what climate change means to people in the places where we live. Climate change is often seen as this big global issue that only matters to future generations or maybe the polar bears. The reality is it matters to us right here in the places where we live. So as a climate scientist, I take the large scale information that we get from global climate models and I bring it down to the local scale so people can use it as part of their decision making. We scientists use all kinds of ways to measure how our planet is changing, from satellites, eyes in the skies, to ocean buoys out as farther than the eye can see. When we put all that data together, it paints a compelling picture that tells us, yes, climate is changing. And not only that, but we know that the reason it is changing today is because of what we humans are doing to our planet. There isn't any magic threshold, but what the science tells us is the more carbon we produce, the worse it's going to get. I host a digital PBS series called Global Weirding, short episodes about all kinds of frequently asked questions that people have. The most popular Global Weirding episode that we produced is called What Does the Bible Say About Climate Change? Climate change is never actually mentioned in the Bible, but at the same time, from the beginning of the Bible, where it talks about how humans have been given responsibility over every living thing on this planet, to the very end of the Bible, where it says God will destroy those who destroy the earth, there is plenty that relates directly to our actions and what we can do to fix it. We need climate action at all levels. Individual choices matter. Acting collectively has even more power. But ultimately, we need a fundamental change in the system of how our society works. As an individual, I do a lot of things. We have solar panels, I charge my car, reduce our food waste, eat lower down the food chain. But collective action matters too. Joining a group that amplifies our voice, calling for change as our children are today. What gives me hope is seeing people act, seeing the kids' climate strikes. The fact that Texas, where I live, is the national leader in wind energy. But the most important thing I think that I've done that anybody can do is talk about it. Because surveys have showed that hardly anybody ever talks about this issue. And if we don't talk about it, why would we care? And if we don't care, why would we act? And why would we demand that others act too? The bottom line is this. To care about a changing climate, all we have to be is a human living on planet Earth. <laughs>